One, two, three, go the Marlins. They still find themselves down six zip. Standing in, Ken Griffey Jr. Leading He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. Center fielder, Ken Griffey Jr. Into the windup and the pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Ellsbury racing back. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. The designated hitter. Giancarlo Stanton now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit in the air to shallow center. Ellsbury comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. The batter number two, shortstop. Now to the plate, Corey Seager. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. hit hard towards center and that's in there so perhaps some life here with two men out so with that we're not done with the bottom of the eighth quite yet well if I'm pitching I got to be shaking my head that's the last thing I'm thinking is he's going to hit a ball down and away and handle it as well as he did to get a base hit. Here's the young catcher Wilson Contreras. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. Seeger rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he will beat the throw home. It's a 7 nothing contest. Great piece of hitting here. Man on first, and they're playing him to pull. But he crosses them up and goes the other way with it, making the outfielder cover a lot of extra ground. That allowed the runner to come all the way around from first to score, and that was a great piece of hitting. Into the box now. Joel Kuhl. He swings and grounds it to short. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. And he is in to score from second as the throwing mistake defensively the came back to factor into that one. He put in. Here's D. Gordon now. Runners going. Swing and a soft liner. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. At the plate, Destin Hood. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup for today? They're only three outs Not away either. from being shut Destin. out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching. But the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here's another 0-2. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The batter number three. Here's Echeverria now. His dominance continues on the mound, but it seems like he might be running on adrenaline only at this point. Yeah, he's been so great in this one. You want to see him finish what he started, but you also have to start worrying about things like injuries. He's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, and some guys are just more capable of that than others, but not a lot of good things tend to happen when you've worked as hard as he has in this one. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Danny Echevarria is retired on strikes Jacobi for the third time Ellsworth. tonight. Digging in and looking for more, Jacoby Ellsbury. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. And that misses ball one towards second. Throw on to first to be in time to get him, and the Mariners will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, 
but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. 8 nothing. the final today. The Seattle Mariners win for a 108th time, most in the division. Noah Syndergaard hosts his league-leading 21st victory and recorded 19 strikeouts in this ballgame. Vance Worley permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that'll just our about do it for us this afternoon. afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head on over to theshownation.com. No runs, five hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and nine minutes. A reminder that extra post-game trains will be available at the King Street Station, located just north of Safeco Field. Metro Transit buses are also available at stations on First Avenue, Royal Brom Way, and Edgar Martinez Drive.